This is our solar system, or at least a simulation of our solar system. This is actually Universe Sandbox, and it's a simulation to scale. To scale means that they are the right size in relationship to one another. For example, that means if I were to say the sun is two times smaller, then everything else, the planets, the asteroids, everything, would also be two times smaller. The Earth would be two times smaller, Mars would be two times smaller, even the distance from the sun would be smaller. In reality, the simulation is millions of times smaller, but everything is to scale, meaning they are in correct relationship with one another. I'm going to look at the solar system at different angles. Right now we're getting a bird's eye view looking right above um, our Earth's northern hemisphere. I'm going to play around and allow you to look low, look to the side, look around, and I want you to notice and make observations of those things that are stand out to you. So what do you notice? Are there any patterns? Remember, patterns are things that happen similarly. Are there any patterns that you see? And what questions do you have? Okay, so I'm again going to be maneuvering around, letting you look at the solar system in the different angles. Um, remember, you're looking for what do you notice? Are there any patterns? And what questions do you have? So I'm going to zoom all the way into the sun to give you that kind of view. Here is our sun, millions of times smaller than what it actually is. Okay, now let's start looking at some of our planets. Our planets, you can barely see them. You can see their trail and that's what's happening and I'm going to press pause for a second. That's what's happening when we look at Mercury. You're seeing a trail. This line doesn't actually appear in the solar system. But when I zoom into Mercury, remember this is to scale the sun so you can see the sun. How? T Let's look at how small Mercury actually is in comparison to the sun. Can we see it yet? At what point can we actually see the planet? have to keep zooming, zooming, zooming. Oh, there it is. We're starting to see the planet. So in relationship to the sun, this is the size of Mercury. Notice the sun is shining on one side. Can't see the other. Let's zoom back out. the simulations to scale. So we're still zooming out. We're looking for the sun. We're going to recenter ourselves on the sun. And remember that this trail, this line does not actually appear. It's just showing you the orbit or how the um, planets go around the sun. So I'm going to press play again so we can see what's happening. This simulation is happening at a faster pace than what actually is happening um, in space. In fact, we can see that there's, um, we're looking at days per second. So I'm just going to keep zooming out. What are you noticing? Are there any patterns that you're seeing? Or if we look at it from a different angle and not from above, what if we look at it from the side? What do you notice? Out. 
so we looked at it from the northern hemisphere of Earth. Now what if we look at it from the southern hemisphere? What patterns do you see? What do you notice? What questions do you have? Switch to the northern hemisphere. What questions do you have? Pause this video, rewind this video to look at the solar system in different ways.